Hey guys, this is Matthew from Nerd News Today. Welcome back for another statue review. This time around, we're going back to Marvel Comics territory because we've got from Diamond Select from their Marvel Gallery Diorama series, Rocket from Avengers Endgame. Rocket has become a fan favorite. He always was a favorite for people who knew about him, but now that he's in the movies, of course, everybody knows about Rocket and everybody loves him. So yeah, it makes sense that Diamond's gonna go ahead and jump in on that and give us this really cool looking Rocket statue. And uh, first glance from it, I think this is gonna be a pretty fun one. Don't know if it's gonna be one of the best of all time, but I've got some pretty high expectations for it. So, but before we get our hands on this genetically engineered raccoon hybrid, let's go ahead and take a look at this packaging. The box that we're seeing here today matches all the other Avengers Endgame pieces we've looked at in terms of the design and the colors and all that stuff. And we've looked at several Avengers Endgame pieces in the past, so if you haven't seen them, go ahead and check out our statue review playlist to see all of those. But yeah, once again, it's basically very similar packaging. And what is kind of cool is that you guys can obviously see here in scale how this piece is. It's also a pretty small piece. And that makes sense because Rocket is kind of a small character. So the upside about this is I think Rocket's going to fit in pretty well with the larger pieces. He's going to actually be in scale more or less with them. And the scale of this, and even the shape of the box, actually reminds me a lot of the Ant-Man piece we looked at a while back. So if you haven't seen that one, go ahead and take a look at that statue because it turned out to be a pretty good one. With this being, of course, a diamond select piece, we've got the standard packaging to look at, which includes four windows. That's a really large window in front to give you a head-on look at the statue, as well as windows on the left and the right side of the boxes. And of course, because it's a diamond select piece, we've got the diamond select sunroof. The back of the box shows us a photo of what Rocket looks like out of it, as well as giving us a pretty nice bio that explains where Rocket is as a character at this point in the film. Doesn't really actually give you too much about what he's doing specifically in this moment, but if you've seen Endgame recently, you know what it is, and we'll talk about that in a moment. We also see that this piece was designed by Joe Allard and sculpted by Rocco Tartamella. So I've got some expectations here. I'm hoping that this little package is going to have a lot of good inside it, because as you know, good things come in small packages, but only one way to be sure about that. So let's go ahead and take this rocket out of the packaging and take a look at him from all angles. And we're back, and here's our rocket raccoon out of the packaging right now. And well, before we jump into too much about him, I want to let you know there's something actually missing from this statue. And if you take a look at that, it's his tail. Where's his tail? Well, it turns out it's actually packaged separately in the box. So that's just a neat little thing there to protect the tail, make sure it doesn't get damaged during packaging. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like before we put it in there. So let's do that right now. Let's go ahead and slide it on in. And that tail is protected in the package by a bunch of twisty ties. Not the most pleasant thing to have to deal with to remove them, but there you guys go. All right, so more or less in there. It's a very tight fit, but uh, you get the idea. That's how it will look once the tail is in there. It's quite adorable. So let's talk about this Rocket Raccoon piece now. And this particular moment is meant to be when Rocket's teamed up with Thor when he goes to Asgard and they need to get a sample of, I think it's like a DNA sample from Natalie Portman. That's what the thing is that Rocket has in his hand right here. And that also explains a little bit of the scene here and this kind of stuff we have here. Because you can see this is very Nordic looking architecture. And that Nordic architecture basically takes up half the piece because Rocket is so small and they need to do whatever they can to make him look bigger and also to fit in better with all the other characters in this scale in the statue series. So clearly, yeah, Rocket is definitely on the smaller side when it comes to the Diamond Select statues in the Avengers Endgame series, and just even overall amongst everything that Diamond has done. But how does he fare? Well, first let's start with that head sculpt, and I think this is a really good head sculpt of Rocket. I think they've really captured his look here and the feel of him. He looks grumpy. I mean, that's he's pretty much a curmudgeonly character anyway, but, but in particular here, he looks very grumpy, curmudgeonly, not really the most happy to be here, but they still captured that adorableness that everybody loves in Rocket. Because who doesn't love a pissed off raccoon? The outfit and the texture and all the stuff that Rocket has also, I'd say is pretty close to being movie accurate. He's in his Guardians outfit from Endgame. And yeah, let's talk a little bit more about this body sculpt here, because this really isn't the most exciting, most action-packed of all the statues we've looked at. It's actually probably the most bland, in fact. He's literally just standing there going like, meh. So yeah, action-wise, not a lot here, but it is a good, solid look at Rocket, and it is his personality. You know, it doesn't need to always be an action-packed piece. It does capture very much what Rocket's all about. And what I think really works for me here is not really just this pose on a whole, but how it fits in with the statue completely. Because you can see here, you know, we always talk about the triangle shape when it comes to statues, and this definitely makes it. You know, if you connect that point to that point, it's going to meet up here somewhere else up there. So yeah, you're making a perfect triangle shape to draw your eye in there. Rocket's head is that darkest dark that's going to make you go right looking at it. And everything else here, you know, color-wise too, it leads you up to that head. So it's very balanced, very well thought out, and pretty visually interesting for a piece that might not look the most exciting up front. I also like the use of color here because we've got this, again, this kind of brown stone that's being used for the Nordic architecture. And that color is repeated throughout Rocket because Rocket, of course, is a brown raccoon. But even then, he's got this leather color on his pouches and his belt, on his straps, on his thighs, the holster, even his shoulder, in fact, has that 
course the tail too, but more so the outfit with the leather bits. So all this color kind of helps build up to get to the head, which is still part of the same family of colors, just different tone. And that blue, it's not super bright either. It's, it's kind of more dark, a little more subdued. And that color works very well with the browns and of course the red to make the head pop even more. But yeah, color wise, again, very, very well balanced piece. I like the texture in Rocket's outfit too. This isn't just one straight thing here. There is some texture on it. You can feel it right there. You've got the boots, which have a little bit of a metallic luster to them, but not super shiny because, you know, Rocket is not the kind of guy that's going to be shining up his boots. He's going to be in action and he doesn't care about keeping himself all clean and nice there. I like how the scarf continues to kind of dangle off the back of him as well. That looks pretty nice there too. And again, apologies folks, that tail does go in deeper. I'm just not feeling like playing with that today. But if you guys want to do that at home, of course, be my guest. Because I'm putting a rocket most likely back in box for a little bit just for storage purposes, I'm not going to fight with it too much. But if you are going to have them on display, yeah, you can get it in there. I don't think it'll take that much more work. Anything we've looked at in the past from Diamond, when it comes to parts that are interchangeable, they go in. Sometimes they take a little bit more work than others, but they will go in. I think the base really is one of my favorite parts about this statue here. I love a good Diamond base in particular. You know, sometimes they kind of skimp out depending on what the statue is, but for Rocket, they kind of needed to have it be a lot more prominent. And I really love all the different sort of shapes that are going on there, the repeating patterns, the texture to it. It's a very nice looking base. I think it's really fitting for that scene and pretty interesting too. The paint application on this Rocket is also fairly good too. Pretty clean. I like the weathering effect they did with Rocket's face in particular. Lots of different tones and colors in his face. Really paint-wise, it might be one of the most detailed faces we've seen in a diamond piece for quite some time. And again, we're not talking about sculpt, although that is pretty detailed here too, but I think paint-wise, there's so many tones going on to that face that they need to have in there that does make it stand out, and it is very clean, very, very well done. The little device that Rocket has in his hands too, you can see it's, uh, you can kind of see it's, it's not like a one solid shade, it is black and red, that's meant to be because it's some sort of liquid essence floating around in there, but still pretty nice. Not really any slop to complain about as I look through this thing, I mean, yeah, everything is pretty solid across the board. I mean, there might be like a little dab of white stuff here or there. I think that's just going to come off. In fact, if I scratch it off, I bet it will. Um, but, you know, in terms of any grit, dirt, stuff that shouldn't be there, or a paint spot that is just not painted correctly, yeah, nothing at all here, really. It's, it's so minimal if it is. So is this rocket worth adding to your collection? Well, the question is, what kind of rocket raccoon do you want in your pieces? For my money, I would actually prefer a rocket to have a big gun or something like that. And there are other companies that have done that. I know Sideshow has done a bunch of things where I'm pretty sure they've got rocket actually with his enormous blasters. But those pieces are going to cost you a heck of a lot more money. They're also going to be a lot more fragile because keep in mind, this is a PVC piece, which means it's very light and going to be pretty sturdy. It's going to survive for quite some time if it falls off a shelf or something. Because Rocket is a smaller character, if he's made out of something like resin, he's going to be a little more brittle if he falls. If you buy something, let's say, from like Sideshow, chances are it's going to be a resin piece, which means it's going to be a little bit more brittle. If that did fall or collide with something else, chances are you're going to lose some chunks because he is thinner, and that's going to make him more fragile. So this is one of those times where PVC actually might benefit you more so than one of the fancier high-end pieces. So while I don't think this is the most exciting rocket pose to have out there, I do think it's pretty solid from a storytelling standpoint. It gives you a good look at the character more so without it being blocked by a weapon. And it lets you also focus a lot more on the portrait of Rocket, which I think is very excellent here. And another thing that I think is pretty important to note is the price. Now, most of the diamond statues we look at tend to be $50. Larger ones will be $60. Rocket is smaller, so he is only a $40 piece. And depending on when you buy him, chances are he might even be a little bit less if you get him from Amazon. We'll have, of course, an affiliate link below. We'll get back to that. For the price point, for what it is, for what it's trying to accomplish, I think it's a very good piece to have. If you've been collecting the Endgame series in particular, you're going to want to have this rocket. And it is nice that Diamond does something different. You know, some of the other companies stick to what is basic, they stick to what they know, and they stick to what is essentially probably the most popular thing to do, which is having guys with guns, super action-packed poses. Diamond has to be a little bit different because they are in a different price point. They still need to stand out, but they also can't really compete with like a $250 statue from Sideshow. So they got to be a little more clever with how they present their pieces. And I think this rocket is a pretty good one. I think it's cool because it shows an interesting interesting moment in the film. I think it also sort of looks really neat too. Like if you don't have a lot of these statues, to be honest, I think this would be pretty cool on a bookshelf. It's so self-contained. It'd be cool on a desk even. Uh, I like the fact that it is a little bit more neutral. If I had a chance to buy a Rocket Raccoon statue that also had a gun, yeah, I would totally do that. But the fact that I've got this version here, it still actually pretty much solves what I wanted and it's a nice Rocket statue. Plus it's got that little tail on the scarf. I just love that detail too. So I think it's a buy. But you guys let me know what you think, of course, in the comments. If you do want to buy this rocket statue from Diamonds Avengers Endgame PVC series, why not use our Amazon affiliate link that I mentioned earlier? You can find that in the description of this video and it helps out this channel without costing you anything extra. And while you're at it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. So until next time, I'm Matthew. That's our look at Diamond Select's Marvel Gallery Diorama from the Avengers Endgame series of Rocket. 
everybody's favorite genetically engineered raccoon with an affinity for heavy weapons. I'm Matthew, this has been Nerd News Today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys here next time with some more statue reviews, figure reviews, and everything else we do on Nerd News Today.